Alright guys, so it's a pretty low hitch as you can see, but it's starting to rust up again, and uh, I painted it over black at uh, one time, but I want to go ahead and since I have a bunch of these uh, red cans for the Miata, and it's obviously not going to take up much to paint that little hitch, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint match that red as best as I can. Obviously it's not an accurate match. But it's something that I figured it's something fun to do at this time, and I can make another video with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start by taking the hitch off. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put my vice to use again. And uh, we're going to crack this nut loose. A little corroded. I'm going to take that hitch off for that ball. Sorry, the ball now. Like I said, I don't actually tow with this truck anymore, so the only reason why I'm keeping it on there is, let's say, for instance, a car bumps back into me on accident or something in traffic, I have a hitch. So, yeah, that's off. Now it's time to sand. I sanded it down to where it's mostly bare metal best as I could get it and I gotta go ahead and spray some brake parts cleaner on it clean all the dust and debris off from the sanding go ahead and wipe it off and we're ready for power. All right, guys so now that it's all cleaned up dust and debris is gone off of it I gotta go ahead and throw on the gray Rust-Oleum automotive primer Let's go ahead and do that and let it dry. Alright guys, so went ahead and got the gray automotive primer on. And after this settles and dries, gonna go ahead and flip it upside down and do the back end of it just a little bit. Let that dry, and then we'll go ahead and throw on the red paint. Alright guys, so finish the primer and the first coat of red on this side. So once it dries, I'm gonna flip it over. Do the top little piece under this and then under this little part here just to, you know, make it look nice and pretty. And it's also going to keep it from continuing to rust because uh, it was already starting to develop a lot of surface rust. So it's obviously going to help prevent rust, obviously. But I'm trying to coat it up as much as I can since it's where most debris goes anyway. And then, uh, Go ahead and finish it off with the 1K clear. And then once that's done, and I'll go ahead and put it on the truck. Let you know how that looks in a couple of uh, weeks. Alright guys, Enjoy. so as you can see, primer, red, and then the first coat of clear coat is on. So you can see, obviously, don't worry about all this stuff because it goes on, obviously, and it covers only till about here. So I'm not too worried about that paint drip in there, as in it run off a little bit. But as you can see, beautiful coat of red and clear coat. I'd say I did a pretty wonderful job there. Um, as you can see, the sides are nice and fresh. It's still drying to an extent degree, but she looks magnificent. Wasn't going for perfect, but she's good enough for being on the back side of the truck. It's going to hit a lot of rocks and debris, so that's why I'm going to be putting a second coat of clear coat on it, just to protect it a little bit better. Probably not going to last very long, but we'll see how it goes. Alright you guys, got the last layers of clear coat on. I'm going to go ahead and finish this video off here. And like I said, the video is cutting off here. Hope you all are enjoying the content so far. I will make a YouTube short on once it is completely dry and on the truck with the ball on. It's just a two inch ball. Again, like I said, I'm not towing with it anymore. But until next time, please like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.